At the end of the first semester, my friends and I wanted to go somewhere and rest for a week or two. Luckily for us, winter break is fast approaching. We went up to a wooden house in the forest. This place has a cute little pond, and everything seems so wonderful and peaceful. Of course, I wouldn't be here if the story ended well. Anyway, it was a girl's trip with Sam, Beth, and me. After the test was over, we went straight to the cabin. This place looks like an ideal winter wonderland. In your own personal backyard. Hey Aid, we should stop at a store to buy snacks and groceries for the next two weeks, Sam said to me. I nodded in agreement. The trip to the store was uneventful. We really don't know where we are. It was Airman, the reviews were excellent, and what's more, the couple who owned the place gave us students a discount. Honestly, it makes a lot of sense. So when we arrived at the bungalow on the hill, the couple seemed to be already at the bungalow. They were waiting to give us the keys and show us the way. So when I got out of the car and walked towards the front door, I was surprised to see a young man wearing a navy blue jacket. They never texted me about anyone else giving us ownership in the next two weeks. Naturally, I just ignored this and waited for an explanation. As he drove up, Beth and Sam talked about Sam's problems in the car. I don't want to interfere. I'm not as close to Sam as Beth is. I just hope she's okay. My name is Max, my parents couldn't come here to give you a place to stay so they sent me instead. Sorry for all the inconvenience, he smiled as he walked towards the cabin porch. That guy is so cute, he won't lie. He has a beautiful jawline, striking emerald green eyes, and brown hair. It's okay, don't worry about it. My name is Adrian. I politely replied, and when the car door closed, he turned his head when he heard the noise. That made me see his Roman nose. It is not extremely important, just something I noticed. Come on girls, have fun, and don't die. He joked as he gave me the cabin key, and then he left. Is it strange that he left immediately without giving any general advice? I mean again, doing something for your parents must be pretty awkward. I do not think anything. After dinner, because we arrived late in the afternoon, everyone took a shower and everything seemed fine. So naturally, the following week we were all about snow. I forgot to mention that there is a beautiful hot tub out on the back porch. Going out in the cold, half naked isn't always fun. But with a warm destination and a beautiful view, everything seems worth it. So, for next week, Everything seems normal. Or at least for me it is. We just do whatever. I found time to study more. During the first week, we did a lot of things, like watching TV shows, cleaning the kitchen, all that fun stuff. Besides spending time together, we also became closer as friends. It's too good to be true. Honestly. I smiled at the girls. I mean, it's only $500 for a two-week stay. Come on, it's only been five nights at a three-star motel. I mean this couple seems really nice. Besides, why think too much, Sam told me, adding that this place must have something special that's why it's so cheap. Agree with this statement. I forgot about the fact that a guy just left. Then again, the reviews here are extremely good. What can you do or say? Beth smiled. The oven ring, the pies are ready, girls. Beth said happily, she is cooking. I mean, passing a failed semester exam requires having a hobby. R-I-G-H-T. Ah, I'm going to take a shower because we all need a break sometimes. Sam said, I teased her for saying that. What, you don't like baths? No, Sam, we're actually on a break. Joked, she laughed at my comment and went into the bathroom. Hey, Beth. Yes. What's new? You know that your grades don't determine who you are, right? I looked at her. I knew it was wrong to mention it. She grew up with strict parents and life was about status. I knew it was difficult, but I didn't know what to tell her. Like that, the whole world is not like that. 
that and again. She knows that, but not for yourself. Yeah, let's change the subject. What if the two of us explored the cabin and the surrounding forest? We don't have quality time with friends. Beth said, help, this is going to be fun. I promise. Besides, what secrets are there in this forest? Very good. Just because I saw a cabin about 40 feet from the back porch, I sighed. She still hasn't solved her problem. Put on my sweatpants over my shorts and put on my jacket. Hey Sam, we'll be back in 10 or 20. I shouted. I received no response, although I wasn't surprised. Sam and I have never been close friends. The walk up to the cabin is a bit difficult, but when you look at it overall, it's small and in disrepair. Smell something rotten, it's unpleasant. I looked at Beth and we both nodded. I opened the cabin door. When it opened, a terrible smell emanated. Looked into the cabin and saw a table. I started to feel nauseous. I slammed the door shut and stopped myself from throwing up my lunch. I heard a break in through the snow. There was another person around. I looked up at Beth. Her eyes were wide and the pupil in her blue orb looked like a tiny dot in a drawing. I heard the foreigner's footsteps getting louder. I grabbed Beth's hand and ran towards the cabin. I slammed the door and locked it. As I ran, I looked back and saw Max, covered in cold, dried blood. I ran to the bathroom door. Sam, Sam, we have to go, now. I screamed and slammed the door. The lock broke and I opened the door. The only thing I saw was a bathtub full of thin blood and red stains on the tiles on the wall. Beth, Sam's gone. Here, the wall is covered in blood. Call the police. I looked back and saw Beth crying on the floor. Grabbed my phone and called the police. I felt like my whole world was collapsing before my eyes. 911. What's your emergency? We found dismembered bodies in the cabin at the airman we rented and my friend was missing. There was blood in the shower water and blood all over the walls. I started to panic. With each word, my sentences became faster and I couldn't breathe. Now, I need you to calm down. The woman told me. I tried to calm down. Calmed down and started breathing. What's your location? I gave them my location. I told them the property name. Anything I could to get them here, faster. Just need it here. Okay, the police will be here in 10 minutes. Please wait and lock all the doors until they arrive. When the police finally arrived, they questioned us and looked around. They told us to go home and they would say something about Sam. Someone asked me who I met on that trip. I told them, there was a guy, he said his name was Max. He had light brown hair and green eyes. The man does this man have any notable characteristics? The police officer who was interrogating me seemed annoyed by this. He frowned when asking me this question, and I felt like I was wasting his time. Te I looked at the ground. I couldn't think of anything else except that he said he was the owner's son and that he had a very structured Roman nose, bamboo. That's all I know, I'm sorry. I tried to calm down. After questioning, we were asked to go home and leave. Wait. A week later, I was in my room. He didn't go to any classes, they considered it an injury, and let me drop out. Yesterday, I received a call from the station. Thank you for calling us right away. We found the body of the owner in this cabin, which you told us about. They were separated and wrapped up, most likely cannibalism or trafficking. As for your friend, I'm sorry to give you this bad news, but that damn water is really acidic. It's a chemical that will slowly dissolve you. But as for the man, the owner has no sons. Of course you don't know that. We are also trying to find him. I heard a knock on the door. We think he's left town. The person on the phone continued, the lock clicking. So we'll try to see what's going on. At that moment, the door creaked open, light shining into my dark dorm room. 
I glanced over and saw a pair of striking green eyes. If you enjoyed these stories, you can leave a like to help me out. Thank you for listening, and have a creepy night.